So sometimes you think that kids aren't paying attention, but the truth is that they are literally always paying attention, even if they act like they're too cool for whatever you're trying to teach them or show them. But a lot of time it's not what you're trying to teach them. It's actually just you leading by example mm -hmm. and then them following in the footsteps. So there's this viral video of this really cute boy. His name is Luke. We're gonna call him Creature Luke. And hey, I'm Kristen James. I'm here with producer Luke. And so this video is so funny. I'm just gonna play a little bit of it for you. Obedience to the command. I baptize you in the Father, in the Son, in the Holy Ghost. Oh. Oh. How are you? Oh, oh, it's a blessing. Did you want to say something to the congregation at all? Well, <laughs> it, it's my pleasure, y'all. And now his Paw Patrol toy is baptized. So, I, you know, he's going to go to heaven one day. <laughs> I know. It was adorable. It was absolutely adorable. He's really cute. And um, he's only five years old. So what happened was he got baptized when he was four. His dad happens to be a preacher. And he's watched his dad do this a million times. So he's like, you know what? I want to do that. And this is what every parent desires, mm -hmm. to have a child that listens to what you've been saying about eternal things, right? About like Jesus and and you know the value of getting baptized and things like that and seeing the love of jesus through their parents like that's the desire that we all have i have that desire when noah was still in my belly he's he's nine months old but when he was in my belly i would be sitting here and listening to all the music we play on star and i'd put the headphones on my belly <laughs> so that he could have that music instilled in him and all of those the truths that we play here and that's exactly um, what I was hoping was going to happen. You know, like right now he, keep, he can't preach yet. Maybe he yeah. will soon. Can't speak yet, so he can't preach yet. Right. But, but he, I think that he recognizes the songs because oh, yeah. and then when I play the, I play Star at home and he's, he loves the music. He gets like so calm and excited and he just, he loves to hear it. And so that's my goal too. Seeing this video of this little boy who's five really just inspires me and like, that's what I'm hoping for. That well, my mom played baby Mozart for my brother when he was a baby. And she didn't play it for me. His grades are way better than my grades. <laughs> so I think there's something to this. Whether that's you're in the is. womb or you're already born, you're a baby, you're very impressionable at that age. And I think you retain it. They even say people, like when we grow up, if we listen to music while we're sleeping or mm -hmm. podcasts or anything, you wake up with a little bit of that knowledge, even though you're in like a state of hypnosis or whatever it might be while you're sleeping. Totally. So and I think you're making the right choices here. Right. So that's what we should be doing. We should all be, you know, just keep talking, keep, keep instilling those truths because they do listen and they probably will come back and say those things to us later on. Do you want to know what I'm going to be when I grow up? I'm going to be a pastor and a Christian. Yes, sir. <laughs> I believe you, sir, baby. And how does it feel that he wants to follow in your footsteps? It's a blessing. It's a blessing. I, I'm thinking now, you know, the pressure is always on PKs and that whole development of him desire to want to do it and authentically want to do it. It's a blessing. I think this, uh, this year is 20 years of me preaching, and he preached to 20 million people in one week. I haven't reached that in 20 years. I'm very happy Look about it. Look at that! I've been watching him! <laughs> what you say? You was watch you I've watching? I've been watching him! <laughs> you have? I'm serious! How adorable is that? That's my favorite part. Right? His dad's been a preacher for 20 years, and he said, my son, my five-year-old son has reached more people, and that's one of the awesome parts about the internet. There's a lot of baggage that comes with the internet, but then you also have opportunities where you could reach so many people, and that's one of, you know, Jesus wants us to spread the message, yeah. and you could use TikTok or Instagram or YouTube or the radio like we do mm -hmm. each and every day to spread the message to as many people as possible, and it's really awesome and it's just so cool to see a kid listening to his parents, watching his parents, and the parents setting such an incredible example for their child who is going to go off into the world and has already, at such a young age, started to spread the message. And it's, it's amazing. Yeah, and he's got that foundation. What mm -hmm. I extra love about it is a lot of people are not likely to watch a video on YouTube or on TikTok of someone preaching, a pastor preaching, right? They'd be like, nah, not for me. 
However, an adorable little boy baptizing his Paw Patrol toy, like they'll watch that. Yep. It went viral, totally viral. Mm -hmm. And then they're seeing these other interviews of this little boy who has the word of God just totally instilled in his heart. So Absolutely. he wants to, then then he goes on and he, and he shares his favorite verse, John 3, 16. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believed in him shall not perish and do shall not die, but have everlasting life. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, It's amazing, right? It's, it's amazing. amazing because it people is. are going to watch that more likely than they'll watch an adult. And it goes so much beyond just a little kid playing around, baptized. Like this kid was obviously, like this is deeply rooted in him yes. from the father planting, from the parents planting the seed, the father obviously being a preacher and just being very hands on with the kid. It's truly incredible. And what a personality this kid has too. Like I you know. could see him like really going places, becoming a preacher one day. And he'll probably have a fan. I'm sure they have an Instagram page, a YouTube something. page, a Twitter page. I mean, this kid was really something else. Absolutely adorable. And you see so many kids going viral, like the corn kid and mm -hmm. all these kids. And, and it's cute and it's fun. But this takes it to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Besides that he has entertainment value, mm -hmm. he has an eternal value too. Because you know what? I bet a lot of people watched his videos and then were like, why, why does this kid who's five years old, why is this what he cares about? And maybe they even dove into it a bit and they ended up finding Jesus. So, yeah. like, I think that he's going to have so many people that say, thanks for your video. Thanks for that funny little video when you were five. He's going to meet all these people in heaven. And, oh, yeah. and they're all going to be lined up saying thank you to him because he's the reason. You know what we need now? Toy Story 5. We have to <laughs> baptize Zerg. We have to baptize Stinky Pete. And we need to have <laughs> Toy Story 5 where... There's just a spiritual awakening for all the evil toys in the Toy Story universe. All right. So producer Luke has spoken. So preacher Luke. Pixar, if you're get listening. On that. <laughs>